Well, if I can, if I can be a little universal about right. this, I think that happens quite often, that something new comes along that people aren't used to, and their immediate reaction is, this is wrong, this is bad, because we're not used to it, it's new. And this is true with sexuality. There wasn't explicit sexuality very much in art or literature, um, and it was pretty hidden. Yes, there were a number of painters who painted nude people and even people in sexual positions, but it was kept kind of quiet, mm -hmm. and p the general public didn't know about it. But here we have the Ron Boise sculptures are on public exhibit at a gallery where people walk in and out, and uh, the beard is a, is a public play, so it couldn't be kept hidden. And, and, and also with uh, political expression, uh, people didn't, weren't as free to express themselves politically until more modern times. So it's um, uh, true that, that anything a little different runs into trouble. And, and I think the, the getting back to the beard case, mm. you know, uh, you wouldn't think of growing a beard as a matter of constitutional protection. But as we thought about it, we did think it was constitutionally protected because it was part of expressing oneself. And if, if a person wanted to grow a beard, that should be an individual choice and some city official should not be able to say, you can't grow a beard, or you can't have a mustache, or you must cut your hair in this way or that way. Still, the military thinks that they can give orders like that. Mm -hmm. But in the general population now, it seems to be absurd that someone would try to impose their uh, will in a, in a personal decision like that. So. At the ACLU, we felt that that was part of personal expression, and we have to defend it. We defended uh, kids who were expelled from school because their hair was long. And I think one of my most famous uh, cases was in the late 1960s, after I first started to work for the ACLU, we had a situation where two women were expelled as students from San Francisco City College mm -hmm. because they wore slacks mm -hmm. to school. And it was thought that women should not wear pants and it was uh, enough to have them expelled from school. So this individual expression of the way we look, the way we talk, the things we see, uh, all fits into the, the same uh, mold of protecting individual freedom.